Assalamu alaikum. Hi friends. Uh, welcome to Meher's Fun Cuisine. And here I am with a very nice and crunchy recipe. That is chicken, fried chicken. I'm making it like the Kentucky fried chicken with some of my own spices to, uh, to have that flavor. So I have some chicken uh, with bones and uh, it's about one uh, one to uh, sorry one kg and that's two pounds of chicken i have taken the whole chicken that has uh, chicken breast chicken legs uh, wings so whoever likes whatever piece can pick up whatever they want you can leave it with skin or i like it without skin so i ask them to take out the skin so i'll start with my marination i have Two tablespoon of vinegar, two tablespoon of soy sauce, three tablespoon of chili sauce. You chili sauce you can adjust according to your taste, but I want three. I like it hot and spicy. You if you like more like spi like hot. You can put four, te te four teaspoon as well, four tablespoon as well. So, one teaspoon of garlic paste, one teaspoon of ginger paste, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. So adjust your salt according to the taste of your uh, soy sauce. So the, my soy sauce doesn't have salt in it. So I put one. So if your soy sauce is really salty, put at least uh, put half teaspoon. And the, for the marination, we need a deep bowl. So. I'll also add a teaspoon of uh, tomato ketchup. Already smells so good. in all the leftover marinade in the soup. Give it a good mix. So the I all the marination has been well mixed with this and I'm going to leave it for another five hours in the fridge you can put it overnight as well so that all the spices goes inside the chicken so i'm going to put a saran wrap and put it in the fridge welcome back my chicken has been marinated for five hours and it's my tea time now let's go start it so every time you used to in this five minutes every time you used to open my fridge i would just stir it with a little bit of a spoon of it so it is looks very nice um, it's ready to be fried so here i have my dry mixture i have taken two and a half cups of uh, all-purpose flour and to this i'm going to add cornstarch or you can put arrowroot so this makes the chicken really crispy like the Kentucky fried ones and I'll take half a cup of this. A little more than half a cup. This is half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of red pepper uh, powder 
and half teaspoon of salt goes there mix it well chicken I'll put one by one cover it with roll then I like to put it in the water and like this I'll complete all my chicken I'll show you one or two more and dust off all the extra ones keep it aside So we won't put more than two pieces at a time. I think I can go with one more. The flame is on medium high. It's, it's, it's cooked from one side and it also cooked for a little bit from the up, like upper side because the oil was full. And uh, it's important that the oil should be more than half of the pan or frying pan so it dips properly and you can keep that oil for frying for the next time my last batch of Kentucky fried chicken is almost done and look what I have some fries I'm going to fry this and no one in the house will know that it's not from Kentucky fried chicken Oh, 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 oh. Ha, 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 ha. Very nice. Love this chicken. Hmm. So if you like my fried chicken, don't forget to like, share. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. My KFC fried chicken is ready. And it's so crispy and crunchy. My Kentucky Fried Chicken, look at this, so crispy from outside and uh, juicy from inside. And I'm serving it with chips and ketchup and nobody will know it's not from KFC. So you can try this and give me feedback and uh, let me know how you like the chicken. Thank you for watching my video. I'll be with you again with an, another very nice recipe easy yummy and nice